Hi there, Sandy Alnock with a Copic coloring tutorial. Today we're going to do truffles and wood and we're going to use the Labeled with Love set from Simon Says Stamp. We're starting by stamping the truffles themselves onto a piece of Nina cardstock that's already been cut into a shape of a heart and that's using the heart die from the Hearts and Spoons set. And I'm doing this so I can lay out my scene, my little truffle line, on the heart in the way that I want them. I could die cut the heart later, but this allows me to just color the sections that I want. And I'm using a simple masking technique with post-it notes to make the truffles look like they're one behind the other. The background, I want to do just a little bit of this blue-green color, and I want it to blend out to white at the top. And I want to do it really simply, so I just colored over top of everything. If you end up with little streaks, little lines, where that, that color stops and you want it to blend into the white, take some of the blender solution and just dab it on there with a Kleenex and let it dry. As it dries, it'll just start to soften and blend those out. And we're gonna cover up that blue anyway in a few minutes so you won't even see that it's there. I'm gonna start laying down some colors now in the bottom section for the wood. And it doesn't really matter a whole lot what browns you use. Most any browns in a section like this where it's not a crucial piece of the card. I just want it to be a foundation table piece of wood that these truffles are going to sit on. I, the secondary color that I just added I did wide stripes with and now I'm just going to get narrower and narrower as I add detail. This E59 is going to be a nice dark color to add the cracks in the wood and those I want to be a little bit thicker so they show up really nice. They don't have to be straight so don't worry about really getting too fussy with it. And now I'm going to go in with just the tip of the Copic marker, just the very, very tip of it, and make as thin a lines as I can. And some of them can be kind of squiggly, and some areas can have more lines than others. You can even draw knots into it if you want. All different kinds of things you can do to create wood textures onto pieces of stamped images. And now I'm going to take a little bit of E37 and just knock the color back. It was a little bit too bright and I think it's going to fight with the truffles, which I want to be the hero in this image. I don't want everybody staring at the wood by it being so light. E13 is the color I'm using to color in the base color of the truffles and just laying a, a flat coat of that down. You can see there's still a little of that light blue showing through, but we're going to totally cover that up in just moments. E49 is going to be this nice, dark, rich, dark chocolate color and these things I'm telling you are making me so hungry just coloring them. I might have to go to the specialty cupcake store up in Seattle and go get myself some truffles. It's so delicious. And I'm adding like a C shape at the bottom of each one of these. I just want to add that rounded shape to, to help the eye see that this truffle is a rounded object. And underneath of each of the swirls, I'm going to add a little bit of dark texture there, a little dark color and then a little bit of shadow underneath each of the hearts because they're going to cast a shadow there as well. E37 will be my next color and I'm extending the shadow. I'm pulling up from where the shadow is and adding more of it into each of the truffles. So I want to put enough of that color in there to make them nice and warm and chocolatey brown. And this color is also going to blend and soften that E49 color, the really dark color, so that it's it has a really smooth blend to it and joining it with that the shadow from the heart up above. And just go back over top of any areas where you see that there's maybe not as much blending going on. Just keep going over it until you smooth them out. E35 is the next step lighter in this series so now I'm going to start filling in the rest of the truffle with that except for that that center spiral because I want that to really feel like it's it's bright and in the center. Now E13 was the base color and I'm just real quick going over top of everything which blends all that color and makes it look nice and smooth and delicious. R35 is the base color now for the cupcake bottoms and for the little hearts on top and I'm adding the shadows with R89 just doing them on the left hand side with real short strokes just a little bit added to that left side so that they look rounded and then I'll blend that out a little bit with R37 and if you end up with a harsh line you can go back in with the R35 again and we're pretty close to done on the coloring portion. I am going to add some highlights in just a moment but I want to show you the card base. I have my card base attached to this 
uh, lacy circle in the back, but you can see I've cut off the top, and that's the part I wanted to show you. Because when you have a card like this, if you don't do that, you're going to end up with the top not folding back. And I'll show you here in a second how this folds so that the card will open without giving the user a lot of trouble. It's just going to flap open really easily. I'm using a Signo white pen to add highlights. I'm just going to add a little tiny line to the top of each of the truffles, to each of the hearts, and then a little detail onto the cupcake tins themselves. The background on that red paper was created by stamping the XO stamp from the same stamp set onto the paper. I did that with dark chocolate ink and I just rubbed the schoolhouse red stamp pad over top of the entire thing and made my own background paper. Thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button down below, subscribe to Simon Says Stamp to get lots more great ideas, and leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite treat is for Valentine's Day. Thanks and have a really great weekend. Bye now!